If you are wondering what is NAV in mutual fund, how it is going to impact your mutual fund investments, how it is calculated and what are the recent developments which is going to impact the NAV which you are going to get in your investments, then this video is for you. In this video, I am going to tell you the simple logic and fundamentals of NAV. Then I am going to tell you how you are going to get NAV for various mutual fund scheme investments in various asset classes and then I am going to tell you what is pool accounts all about and how it is going to impact your investment journey after the recent order of SEBI of banning pool accounts. Hello everyone, I am Shobit, I am a Finbiz Growth Expert and founder of Finbiz Growth Club. We are an aspiring community of new age mutual fund distributors who are determined to change how India invests. Now let it coming back to what is NAV. NAV is net asset value. It is the price of one unit of a mutual fund scheme which you are going to purchase when you are going to be investing in a mutual fund. So to simplify this uh, terminology for you is let's assume that you are going to invest say 1 lakh rupees in a mutual fund scheme. So if you are going to pay 1 lakh rupees to a mutual fund company for investing in a particular scheme, then in return what is that you are going to get from the mutual fund company. And from the mutual fund company what you are going to get is the number of units. And how this number of units are going to be calculated? It is going to be calculated based upon the NAV or net asset value of a unit. And how the NAV is calculated? NAV is calculated based upon the value of the security in that portfolio on a particular day. So the valuation of the portfolio on any day is very, very important to determine the price of one unit. So here the most important thing which you need to understand is the only constant in the investment journey in mutual funds is the number of units which you are going to be getting for your investments. The price of the portfolio will keep on changing or the value of the portfolio will keep on changing and because of that the NAV will keep on changing. But the amount which you have invested based upon that on that particular day the number of units will be allotted depending upon the NAV. So once the, you get the unit, then those units are going to be constant if you are not investing any more money and depending upon a, NAV, the value of your investment will keep on growing or decreasing. So if you are going to get more units, the likelihood is in the future you are going to get better benefit and if you are going to get less units, then it is obvious that you are going to be getting a higher or lesser benefit in the future. And how you are going to get more units? You are going to get more units if the NAV of the schemes has been down or low. So if the market has come down, the value of the portfolio will come down. And if the value of the portfolio is going to come down, then the NAV is going to come down. And if the NAV is come down, then the amount divided by NAV is going to give you units. You are going to get more units. So it is very obvious that today if market is down and if today I am going to invest, I am going to get more units because the value of the portfolio will be down. And if the market is up, the value of the portfolio will go up and the NAV will constantly go up and you are going to get lesser unit. So once we are clear about NAV and the units which you are going to get, then let me tell you how the uh, units is being allotted to you depending upon the NAV. So if you are investing in any equity mutual fund scheme or debt mutual fund scheme, then you are going to get same day NAV depending upon when you are going to be submitting the application as well as money into the mutual fund schemes account. So the cutoff time for any working day is 3 p.m. If a mutual fund company is going to receive money before 3 p.m. along with the application, you are going to get the same day NAV. If the money has been received by a mutual fund company after 3 p.m., then you are going to get NAV of the next working day. 
and here you need to also understand that in mutual funds the working days are only five saturday sundays are non business day so even if you have deposited money on friday and after 3 pm then you are only going to get a navy of monday and saturday sundays will not be working for you so once you are clear that you are going to get an av on the working day depending upon the money being deposited into mutual fund company account before the cut off time of 3 pm you are going to get the same day av so if you are go if you have seen the market market has corrected and you want to grab this opportunity and want to invest then your task is or your financial advisor task is to help you in investing that money and transferring that money from your bank account to mutual fund company bank account before 3 pm so that you are eligible for same day nav and get a lower nav and consequently higher number of units there are some changes if you are going to invest in a liquid fund or overnight fund so if you are investing in a liquid fund or overnight fund you are going to get historic nav now what this means if you are going to invest in a liquid fund uh, uh, on a working day then you are going to get previous day nav assuming today is say uh, wednesday if you are going to invest on wednesday before 2 pm in a liquid scheme then you are going to get nav of tuesday this is called historic nav same goes for overnight fund so barring these two funds every fund you are going to get same day nav in case the money has been received along with the application before cut off time given by the mutual fund company in general it is 3 pm so once you are clear that when you are going to get nav let's discuss about a recent development which is a pool account which is going to impact all of us investment journey now if you are investing through a transaction platform like say bsc star or nsc mfs or grow app then these all platforms use a pool account or a common account through which they are going to collect money and then they were distributing that money to various mutual fund company so what used to happen if you remember there was a one time mandate which has been created against these companies and they are going to take money into their bank account and from there they are going to transfer that money into various mutual fund companies account wherever you are going to invest same way some companies were taking the redemption if you are taking out the money into their wallet account like grow uh, balance uh, account and from there you if you want you can transfer into your bank account so this pool account since it was having a not very clear structure cb has banned using of pool accounts or ag uh, aggregator account where first the company is going to take the money and from there they were distributing that money to various mutual fund companies and if that was happening what was happening suppose you want to invest say 10 lakh rupees into five mutual fund scheme so earlier what used to happen or up till now what is happening is the money is being debited one shot from your bank account that money is going to be into the pool account of say aggregator of pool accounts of say nsc or uh, bsc or grow or any app or any mutual fund distributor who is going to have a pool account and from there that money is going to be distributed among mutual fund companies so this process was little faster but it was having a money routed from through a third party which cb has barred it and if that is happening then what is the procedure now which cb has stipulated cb has said that anyone who wants to invest in mutual fund they are going to be taking that money or the investment is going to happen from investor bank account to a registered payment gateway like a uh, bill desk or clearing corporation of india and from there that money is going to be invested into the mutual fund company account so this is going to happen from now up till now the money was being aggregated by a third party platform and from there the money was distributed 
but now that money is going to go to where payment gateways like bill dash or clinic operation of india and from there the money is going to be distributed among mutual fund companies and this is a long process the money flow will be not very clear it will be a time consuming and because of that the nav which you are going to get will be delayed by a day or two until unless you are directly using mutual fund companies uh, portals or infrastructure to invest because if you are using any mutual fund company infrastructure directly money going into the accounts of the mutual fund schemes and there you are going to get the same day nav but if you are using bsc platform or nsc platform or grow app platform then you are not it be able to time the market as you have seen the volatility as of now in these changes are going to impact what kind of or these changes are going to impact which day and every you are going to get and it is going to be delayed depending upon when the company or mutual fund company is going to receive money because now a third party which is a payment gateway is being involved so these changes you need to be aware of mindful of so in case you in this volatility you want to end cash you want to get and want to time the market i would advise you so instead of using any third party platform you as a mutual fund distributor or investor you should be using amc infrastructure like their websites or app to invest so that you can get the same day nav so i hope i have given you some clarity first on the very important fundamental factors what is an av and how navs are going to impact your investments then i told you how you are going to get uh, navs or allotted navs for your investment in various asset classes and then i looked upon how pool accounts are going to impact your life in your investment journey Uh, in case you like the content in case it has given you some clarity i would love you guys to hit the thumbs up button subscribe to our channel so that you will be first one to know whenever we are going to publish some new content thank you very much for watching i am going to see you next time